Hey, what's up y'all? I am super excited to be doing this video. We're gonna be doing a real simple stir fry. It's not necessarily that I'm doing the stir fry, but there's a couple of factors in. One, I get to do it on my brand new Camp Chef griddle. So that is really cool. I have done a couple of things on it already. Um, I don't think you've seen the video yet where I put it together. We may mix that in here just a little bit. It took me a little while. I'm not super good at that kind of stuff. Um, if it can be done backwards or upside down, I'm your guy. Uh, but we are going to do a stir fry in here. I love stir fries. Actually, you know what? I take the back some of the stir fry. It's a fried rice. So two completely different things. I'm sure somebody on here would correct me, right? So we're actually doing a fried rice and we're doing a wild game right, uh, fried rice. This one is going to be Axis. I used a bottom round uh, on it. And so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna catch you up a little bit on, uh, on what I've done already. So inside I've already, turn this down just a little bit. Inside I've already prepped everything. I. Um, of course, cut up the vegetables, or actually there's only one thing to cut up. I cut up an onion. I bought frozen uh, peas and carrots already mixed together. So I've got those in a bowl. I cut up an onion, I cut it in half and then just cut it a uh, long way. So half circles basically with it. I cut up some uh, chestnuts because I like that little bit of crunch uh, in my uh, uh, fried rice. I keep wanting to call it stir fry, sorry. And then I took that bottom round and one of the things that you'll see a show in the video is that your last cut that you're going to eat, you always cut against the grain that will make it more tender, less chewy. Um, cleaned it up really well, cut it against the grain, cut it into just um, small strips. I'm gonna put that on here first. I've used just a little bit of olive oil. You can see I've got it really hot. Um, I've used, I've got four burners on here. I'm only using three of them. This far one is on the right side as uh, I move away from the camera. Uh, I have off and we'll just use it to keep stuff a little bit warm. I have all the burners on uh, medium low heat and actually I'm gonna turn these other two closer to uh, low. I'm gonna put the meat on first. Now, as you guys know, with wild game, do not overcook it because there's no fat in it. So uh, we're gonna do it really quick and then I'm gonna move it down here into the other end and then uh, we'll do the eggs. Uh, oh, here's another thing too. I thought I was gonna have about two pounds of meat. I only have one. So I'm kind of cutting this recipe in half. The recipe itself will be, uh, is actually it's already on the website, one from filledtotable.com. I've made a few adjustments to it that I need to make the changes on. I added some uh, uh, toasted sesame seed oil. Uh, in there and I've changed just a few things up uh, on the recipe as well. So um, I did the rice yesterday. So you wanna do it ahead of time. So it keeps it from just being, you don't wanna do it right after you cook it cause it'll make it real gummy. Uh, so you almost, it almost has kind of a crunch to it. And then whenever you fry it, it's, it's the real deal. And oh, oh, here's another thing too. The seasoning that we used. Now this may seem a little bit out of the ordinary for a, uh, uh, fried rice, we used Buckmaster's Buckshot. So this is a wild game seasoning. Here's why I used it. I got to look in the ingredients. Of course, I tested it. It has orange and uh, lemon peel in it, which as you all know, goes really well with a lot of um, stir fries or um, in this case, fried rice. So that's one of the reasons I used it. Uh, and then the sauce I use has a little bit of sweet to it. This has a little bit of kick, but the sauce that we're going to use, which is also homemade, uh, has some sweet to it. So I think they're gonna offset each other really, really well. You guys, check this out from uh, the Buck Commander guys. Oh, oh, one more thing too. My brand new Outdoor Solutions tumbler. Uh, this one, I'll let you guys guess what might happen to be in here. Um, it is the weekend. It's 4th of July weekend whenever we're doing this video. So cheers. Happy 4th of July, America. You guys can guess in the comments what I might have in here. This is, by the way, from uh, Arctic. We're, uh, we're doing some new coolers and cups and tumblers uh, with those guys. So be on the lookout for those here coming up too. All right, let's get to cooking. One thing that I didn't mention, we're going to use a lot of butter. So here we go with the, I'm gonna spread that out just a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more oil in here. I'm just using olive oil, by the way. 
and we'll get this to cooking. So I cleaned this meat up really well. Got all the fascia, all the silver skin off. Uh, as you can see, I've seasoned it already. And we're just gonna cook it up really quick and then we'll move it to this far right side. All I'm trying to do is space this out a little bit so that it cooks evenly with all these different pieces. And like I said, it will not take very long at all with wild game. Obviously you can do this with chicken uh, or any other kind of wild game. I just happen to have some axis and that is obviously what I'm using. Normally right now I would go ahead and put some butter down here as well and get the eggs going. But um, because I don't want this to overcook, I'm just gonna keep an eye on this right now. Um, I'm usually pretty good at multitasking, but in this case, I don't want to chance it. You overcook that wild game, and then it's going to be tough. So, I mean, uh, one side is already done. We've literally got maybe another 45 seconds on this side. And you know what? I'm probably going to take this completely off of the grill because I don't want it to overcook. So I'm gonna have to run inside real quick and get a, a cookie sheet or something so I can spread this out. There we go. See, this is really pretty much already done. This is all real time right now. You can see how quick this is done. Plus, obviously, it's going to cook a little bit more whenever it's um, uh, in the uh, chicken fry, it's, or the chicken fry, the fried rice. I don't know what I'm cooking, y'all. All right, so that is really as much as I want that cooked. So I'm going to move that down here real quick. And then I'm gonna run inside, I'm gonna get a cookie sheet. The reason I'm gonna get a cookie sheet, I could put it in one of these other containers, but you don't wanna stack the meat up because what happens is when it's hot like this, it will continue to cook, but if it's all stacked on top of each other, it will sweat and that will make it tough. So stand by here with me and I will be right back. See how I'm just gonna spread this out? on here you still want all stacked up on top of each other spread that out as much as i can you know what probably should taste a little bit of it huh mm. this was an axis dough that i shot last year so tender. Actually, here uh, in just about a week, I'm heading back down to the same place, back with Charles. You've seen us hunt with him before. It's where I got my Axis buck. Uh, heading back down there with him again with my friend Tim Anello from Inside Outdoors TV and Ashley Poole, who is our editor and uh, videographer extraordinaire. So we're gonna head down there and see if we can uh, get some more Axis and that will actually be in one of their episodes of Inside Outdoors TV. So I'm excited about that. That's going to be cool. All right, let's get this out of the way. All right, we're going to do these eggs next. And I'm going to do this over here on the low end as far as the heat goes. So we're going to get these eggs done. Let's spread that out. Everything else that you see here, I'm going to use butter. I like butter, it's gonna be really good with the rice. We're gonna do it with the vegetables. I've got this side down as low as I can get it. So we got a couple of eggs here. Egg number one. Egg number two.
That's loud, isn't it? You know, with all this banging going on, maybe uh, I actually could cue up some music right now and kind of drown that out a little bit. All right, I'm turning all my heat down since I have the meat done and we got that good sear in there. So I'm turning all these down to a little bit on low. I don't have a um, uh, way to check the heat on here. I need to buy a um, thermometer. over here just like this. I'm actually just gonna set it right on top of that spatula so it doesn't get burned up too much. More butter. So add some more butter in here and then the uh, vegetables are gonna go down next on here. I've got the onions and then the peas and the carrots. I'm gonna throw the onions on here first because they'll take a little bit longer. Oh, splash it a little bit. Now we do a lot of stir fries here. And then when we do the stir fries, I'm not adding butter. Stir fries are supposed to be healthy. <laughs> this, uh, this may take a, away from that a little bit <laughs> just because of all the butter that we're using. Other thing I have here is uh, some sea salt and uh, pepper that I'll use on the vegetables. So what I'm going to do with these, since I added onions, you can use whatever you want. That's a cool thing with uh, a fried rice or a stir fry. You can use whatever vegetables, whatever protein that you want. I like onions in mine. And as you can see, so we're just kind of spreading those out. I'll let these cook up a little bit, letting them soften up. Then I'll add the peas and carrots. Um, those won't take very long at all. We'll add some more butter. We'll add some more uh, salt and pepper on those. And then we're going to spread them out over uh, this side. And as they start getting done, we'll start moving them down a little bit. All right, I think we got the onions about as far as we want them. I'm honestly, you know what, I'm probably only gonna use maybe about, because I only got a pound of meat. Let's see what this looks like. I want my ratios to be, to be good. I guess about as much as I'm going to use. Since I only got one pound of meat, thought I was going to have more, but I misjudged. All right, so I'm just going to let those sit for uh, a little bit. You don't want to stir them around too much, and then we'll flip them over, get the other side, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to move that down, and then I'm going to get the rice, spread it down, and we'll start adding the sauce. So here's the beauty of having a camp chef. Look how much space this takes up be kind of hard to do inside and you don't have all the smells and man you can just spread everything out and do what you need to do with it so um, I think we're getting pretty close over here so what I'm gonna do scoot this down a little bit let's get the rice spread out Told you all we're going to use a lot of butter. All 
I didn't mention earlier, so I have this all on low now, and all I'm doing is spreading this out, because whenever you put your rice on, woo, you won't be able to spread it out too. It's like popcorn, holy smokes. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this cook for just a few and then we're gonna start mixing everything else back in. That griddle was still a little too hot, even though I had it turned down on low. I probably should let it sit just a little bit longer, but that's okay. A little entertainment, some popping rice. Oh, y'all, I forgot the chestnuts. All right, we'll let those cook up. I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll start adding all of our vegetables in. Let's add the egg in. Now this sauce is fantastic. It does have, you can see how I'm stirring it up here and it's changing colors a little bit. It does have cornstarch in it to help kind of thicken it up. Don't want to use too much in the beginning. Do it kind of in layers. Let's go ahead and get our meat added in. Look at that, look how good that's looking. This is gonna be awesome. Now I'm gonna spread this out because you want this to be fried rice. And so this is another reason too why um, you do not want to thoroughly cook or completely cook uh, your protein other than if it's chicken uh, or pork. Um, but in this case, uh, wild game axis, uh, you don't want to cook it completely because it's going to be on the grill some more. By the time more heat's added to it, um, you can have it way overcooked. So we're going to let that sit for just a little bit. I'm going to add some more sauce to it. And this sauce is amazing. Lots of flavor to it. This is what's so cool about having a Camp Chef flat top. <coughs> I can uh, spread all this out, make it a little bit messy and not get in trouble. Notice Deborah's not out here this evening. You guys may be wondering where she is. So it's uh, Saturday before the 4th of July. I think today is July 1st. She is upstairs working. She's been working all day. We have had a ton of stuff uh, going on and she has gotten way behind on work. We've had a lot of family stuff going on. Um, not to be a, a, a downer Debbie or anything, but uh, her brother did pass away uh, last week and uh, anyway so there's been a lot of stuff to deal with so she is upstairs catching up she is an absolute trooper y'all keeping us afloat keeping things uh in line with 
uh, Eric Suarez and Lindsey Moss. If you've done anything with us at all before, if you've done one of our events from field to table or long range shooting schools, you've spoken with Eric Suarez. If you've booked a hunt with us, then you've dealt with Lindsey. Lindsey's been with us since 2006. So a lot of y'all probably already know, uh, know him. And uh, if you've been to any of our events, you've met Mac who uh, helps me run a lot of the events and then he runs quite a few of them now just on his own as well. So I think we're getting close guys. I didn't bring a fork out here and I should have, huh? Let's see if we can get a little, a little taste here. Oh man. Mm. All right, let's do sauce one more time and we're gonna get this off the heat. Oh my God. Deborah's gonna love this. So what I'm gonna do with this, I just got a container over here that I had the rice in. I'm gonna put it back in that container and then I'm gonna go inside and get it plated up. But for out here, I've got all my tools to keep this clean. Every time, whenever I'm uh, done, we'll scrape everything. I've got my handy dandy scraper here somewhere. Got my scraper and I just spilt it, but I also keep kosher salt out here. But uh, what I usually do first, I scrape everything. I pour some water on while it's still hot. In fact, you know what, we'll just go ahead and turn all this off. Um, while it's hot, I pour water on it, I scrape it. All the um, scrapings go down in here in the channel and then they end up going into the tray. And then I sprinkle kosher salt on it. I take my scrubber, I scrub it down real well. I wipe that down with a rag, make sure there's no more debris on there. Put the oil back on, spread that oil around and good to go. It's all seasoned and ready to go for the next one. And I do that every time. Keep, if you're using a, um, a flat top, if you're using a griddle, keep that sucker clean and keep it seasoned. Look at that, look how good that looks, y'all. Very simple. Most of this was in real time. I did pause a couple of times, but I don't know. I've been out here, holy smokes, it's already 8.30. I usually go to bed at nine. I usually definitely do not eat this late, but we've both had a lot going on. This one about got away. I better eat up. We'll get it plated up. I'll see you guys inside. All right. I'm not going to lie. It was hot out there. I'm glad to be back inside where it's cool and I can have a drink. So that was really fast, really easy. I'm gonna get this plated up a little bit here. Now, the problem with not having Deborah here, other than she's a whole lot prettier than me, is she knows how to plate stuff and make it look really good. Me, not so much. So I'm gonna do one right here, see if we can make it look somewhat decent. Put some green stuff on it for whatever reason. Whenever you cook, you're always supposed to put something green. Let's put a little bit of color here. And a little bit of color there. I think that looks pretty good. I bet Deborah could do quite a bit better, but she's not here. I do need to do a picture of this, but check this out. Did that look good? So I can't wait to dig in. I am starving. Um, but anyway, yeah, you know what? Let's fork, fork, fork. Let's do a fork, see what this tastes like. Get just a little bite here of everything. We've got some onion, We've got some meat. Oops, and I just knocked everything off. Got to have some carrot in there too. Obviously some rice. All right, here we go. Cheers, y'all. Mm. That is really, really good. Y'all should definitely try it. Listen, 
We have a lot of fun doing these videos. I have more fun when Deborah's down here with me. In fact, hold on just a second. Let's see what she says. Hey, babe. Deborah. <laughs> She's not going to answer me. I know you hear me. <laughs> Deborah. She's. Yeah, I'm hollering at you. Do you want to come down and say hi? Do you want to come down and say hi? To the people watching this video. <laughs> I told you. She says no. <laughs> Please, they're, they're wanting to see you. <laughs> she says no one wants to see me because she hasn't gotten did up and she doesn't have a hat on and she's been working all day. So <laughs> she said, I've been working all day. So anyway, I'm solo on this one. I'm sorry that um, Deborah wasn't here to join us. But anyway, do me a huge, huge favor and please hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We've been doing this for a long time. We're trying to grow this channel. We have a lot of fun doing it. I promise you it's a lot more fun when Deborah's here with me. But this is just one of the things that we do. We take recipes from our chefs. Her and I cook them ourselves just to show you that it's easy to do. And we do a whole bunch of other stuff too. We'll show you how to shoot. We'll show you how to cook. We'll show you how to butcher. Um, we do a lot of fun stuff. We go to Alaska. I'm going to British Columbia this year. I'm going to Mont uh, I've already been to Montana. I'm going to Colorado. We take you along on our hunts and we have a lot of fun. So please hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a ton. And I will see you guys on the next video.